Hello everyone, we will continue the topic sub routine and in the previous video, we covered what is sub routine, what are the various types of sub routine, what is the syntax of the sub routine in which we are not passing any parameters. Now we will cover the syntax of a sub routine in which we will pass the parameters. Now, what is the syntax for the same? We all know, yes, perform is the keyword. After perform, you need to give some name to the subroutine. Up to this level, it is same, it is same is equal to subroutine without parameters. Now, after that, how, how you can give the various parameters. Then we have the keyword tables. Then you can give the various tables parameters. Then we have the using keyword. Then you can give the various using parameters. Then we have the changing keyword. And then you can give the various changing parameters. So what is the syntax to call a subroutine with parameters? So perform is the keyword name of the subroutine tables after that tables parameter using after that using parameters changing and after that, whatever the changing parameters are there. Anyways, once we start with the practical part, we will cover, yes, what are using, what are changing, what are tables. But as of now, never think tables are database table. We always talk about internal tables, yes. Now, we cannot change the sequence of tables using and changing, but any of them is not required, we can skip it. What is the meaning of this line? We can never, never change the sequence of tables using and changing parameter. Suppose if you see what the syntax is, firstly tables parameter, then we have using parameters, then we have changing parameter. I can never, never write yes using first, then tables and then changing. I can never write like this. Suppose I cannot write changing, then tables, then using. I can never write using tables changing. I should never, never change the sequence. We cannot change the sequence of tables parameter, using parameters and changing parameter. It should be in the same sequence. But yes, if sum is not required, then you can skip. Suppose if I will go for a subroutine in which only using and changing parameters are there, then I can skip the table. Suppose if I am going for a subroutine in which I have only only the changing parameters, then I can skip tables and using. But it is never, never the scenario that I will change the sequence. If some parameters are not applicable, I will simply, simply skip that particular thing. Now I will come on to the syntax. In this diagram, if you see, we have a subroutine with parameters. Suppose perform is the keyword. What is the name of the subroutine? Sum, sum. Then we have using and changing. And how many using parameter? Two using parameter. And how many changing parameter? One changing parameter. Have you seen in this current scenario, tables are not applicable. So I simply used using and changing, but I can never, never write changing and using. Yes, we should always, always follow the sequence of 
tables using and changing. Now, if you see this example, this is subroutine with parameter C. You are passing two using parameter. You are passing one changing parameter. Previously, we are not going for any parameters at all. We are simply, simply creating a subroutine without parameters. Now, in this example, perform using and changing are the keywords. Sum is the name of the subroutine. And you can see P underscore input 1, P underscore input 2 are using parameters. And LV underscore output is the changing parameter. And you all know where, where we are writing the logic of the subroutine between form and end form. So this particular line, yes, this is the logic of the subroutine, which is between form and end form. If I will show you in the SAP also, anyways, we'll go for the practical for the same. You can see perform is the keyword. Sum is the name of the subroutine. Using is keyword. We have two using parameters. We have one changing parameter. Once I will double click, we have form and end form. Then we have two using also and one changing. Yes. Anyways, in the next slide, I will come to this particular point. Now we will come on to the next slide and we will cover the most, most important thing. Yes. Generally, yes, we always, always ask, yes, sir, what is the meaning of actual parameter and formal parameters? So we created, yes, this is with parameter subroutine. After that, yes, we simply, simply has to understand what is actual parameter and what is formal parameter. Parameter names that appear on the perform statement are called as actual parameter. Just see the parameter names which are appearing on the perform statement. This is our perform statement. It means what are the actual parameters name? P underscore input one, P underscore input two, and LV underscore output is called as actual parameter. So anyone can ask in the interview, what do you mean by actual parameter and formal parameter? Whenever you will create a subroutine, whatever the names you are giving with perform, they are called as actual parameter. Now, once you will double click and create and whatever the names are with form, they are called as formal parameters. Now, if you see in our current scenario, what is the name of formal parameters? PV underscore input 1, PV underscore input 2, PV underscore output, they are called as formal parameters. So with the perform statement, the parameters are called as actual parameters. With the form statement, the parameters are called as formal parameters. Now we will come on to the important points. What are the various important points? If I will go for the slide, what are the important points? Now, perform and form statement must contain the same number of parameters. What is the meaning of this? You can see with the perform statement, with the perform statement, if I will come here, with the perform statement, we have three parameters two using parameter and one changing parameter. If you see the form statement also, we have two using and one changing. 
there should never never a mismatch and we saw specially pressures yes we will always always get the error different number of parameter different number of actual and formal parameters never never the case whatever is the number of actual parameter it should should match with the formal parameter in our current case we have three actual parameter then formal parameter is compulsory it should be three if we have 10 actual parameter formal parameter should be 10 they should be in sync now what is the next important point yes the addition using and changing can only occur once in a statement same thing i will write for tables also because anyways if we will go for tables parameter the tables using and changing can only only be occur once in a statement if you see we are going for using and changing but it is not the case that we are writing using first parameter we are writing using second parameter the keywords using and changing are only only once we are writing using then we are writing all the using parameters we are writing changing then we can write all the changing parameter and same thing is applicable for tables also. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with, yes, the syntax of subroutine with parameters. Never, never tell that it is a type of subroutine. Subroutine type is internal and external. We can create a subroutine without parameter passing and with parameter passing. Now, whenever you are going for subroutine with parameter, perform name of the subroutine, tables parameters, using, using parameters, changing, changing parameter. You should never, never alter the sequence. It should never the case that you will write changing first, then tables, then using. You are writing, suppose, using first, then changing, and then tables, never. If something is not applicable, you can skip. Suppose if tables are not applicable, you can go for using and changing, but never alter the sequence. Tables parameter should be first then using parameter and then we have the changing parameters after that we cover the syntax perform name of the subroutine using parameters and changing parameter we just took the example then we covered yes what do you mean by actual and formal parameters the parameters which are with perform keyword they are called as actual parameter. The parameters which are with form, they are called as formal parameters. Then we covered the important points. The number of actual parameters should be equal to number of formal parameter. It means perform and form statement must, must contain the same number of parameters. And tables using and changing keyword should be only only used once. Means if you have 10 tables parameter, it should not be the case. You will use that tables keyword 10 times. No, tables keyword, all the 10 tables parameter. Using, using parameter. Changing, changing parameter. Now in the next video, firstly, we will create a simple subroutine without parameter then we will go for subroutine with parameters so that's it in this video thank you